Her name is Kiana Lynn Bello. I really don't care if I link her whole name out. I mean, we're not friends anymore. It's your gothic queen here, back with another lit smasher video. Today I'm in a polka dot outfit and I look fucking cute. Arch back, arch back, arch back. Okay, I'm not a twerker. Don't wanna be one. Okay, so today we're going to do part two of my story time. Hoes, bitches, let's get into the video. Okay, so today is going to be the continuous story time about a friend that now I consider a real fucking bitch. Um, okay, so her name is Kiana Lynn Bello. Like I said in my other video, in my part one video, I am not afraid of her. Like, yes, I'm tiny, I'm small, but bitches too. Like, how? You know how? Just me outside, how about that, bitch? Like, how? <laughs> Let me stop. I mean, I'm not trying to look for trouble or anything. I'm just like, I'm saying what happened in our friendship and why we're no longer friends. And if that somehow gets to you, you know, me speaking words, sometimes, somehow it gets to you, you know, it gets you mad, it gets you in your feelings, get me outside. We can take it outside. We can talk about it outside. We can fight outside. I mean, honestly, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. And I'm tired of fighting. Fighting bitches for my mans for like four years now. Like I'm tired of fighting bitches. Like, yeah, but you know, if it gets you in your feelings, what I'm saying, catch me outside. How about that? That's all I'm gonna say about that. I know I'm joking and I'm playing around. I know my some of my subscribers say I'm funny and whatever. You know, I keep dumb on their toes. Anyways, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so like I said in my other video, like the last time that like, like the last time that I remember us chilling alone was when I did the Christmas, uh, like when we did the Christmas stunt and then she got punished. Oh no, 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 wait, no, yeah. So I think she got punished on that and then I didn't see her. Then I met Joey like a few years later and then I was invited to her Christmas party, her Thanksgiving party, her Halloween party. I was invited, I invited her, she invited me to do at least six to eight parties. But they were all lame, they were all fucking lame as fuck. Her family, all of her family does is fucking twerk and whine and arch your back like bitch. Like, that's the only thing y'all can do. Y'all can't do salsa. Y'all can't do bachata. All y'all can do is fucking twerk your ass. Be a stripper. Go to the stripper club. Like, the fuck? That's all your body does is fucking twerk. Fucking arch your back. Arch your back. Whine on your niggas. Like, the fuck? And then, when we were having our little dispute, she was like, oh, bitch. That's why I could twerk better than you. Bitch! Like, yeah, I might not have the ass to twerk, but I don't want to twerk. How? Bitch? The fuck? <laughs> Yo, that still makes me laugh to this day because she's a fucking twerkaholic. Like, bitch can twerk. I'm not gonna lie. Bitch can fucking twerk. But she can twerk until her fucking ass falls off. I think that's the only reason why she so-called got fatter. To get her ass fatter so she could twerk on her mans. I bet that's the only reason why Noelle stays around. Because she's a little hoe. She dresses like a little hoe. And it's like, how nigga like that? Like, these niggas out here, like, a lot of these niggas out here like their girls to 
dress like this. That's why I'm dressed like this to show you. They like their girls to dress with, you know, the crop tops and the, you know, the little tights and the bit, you know, like, how no? I'm not about that life. Like, honestly, this is not even a crop top. This is just a shirt that I wrote up. Because bitches want to show off for their niggas. And it's not cute. It might be cute for you, but it's not cute. It's not. You're like 21. Like, bitch, grow up. Dress your age. How? Like, the fuck? Dress your fucking age. See? This is classy. This is cute. I'm cute. I'm sexy. I'm adorable. I'm pretty. I'm everything. I'm the whole fucking package, bitch. You're not. You're just a twerkaholic hoe. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. How to get that out of my system. Anyways, right? So... I would just get into like the good details, like why we started arguing. So I had a baby, which yes, guys know. And um, I'm thinking about making an intro with him in it, like me and my friends making like a family intro, and just do like all our family videos like that. If you like that idea, just comment yes in the um, just comment yes. So if you like that idea, just comment yes in the comments right if i get over 50 yeses i will do a new intro with me my son and my fiance also let's get the comment let's get up to 50 comments and let's get this video up to 100 likes and i will do an intro with me and my fiance and my little brother enjoy so yeah let's get this video up to 100 likes and 50 comments oh you know what let's do 100 comments and 100 likes talk about that 100 yeses and 100 likes and i will do a new intro with i will do a family intro for all my family you know videos and i will do an intro with my brother joy and my fiance in it so yeah let's get this up to 100 likes and 100 comments and i'll do it okay so anyways right I made her the godmother, might have been the, wor the worst, exactly, the worst um, decision I've ever made. But I made her the godmother because at the time, like, I was, we were friends for about, at the time, we were, we were friends for about five years, I believe. Me and my bestie, uh, me and my other bestie, go bitch, go bitch, go bestie. Yeah, I'm a bad baby fan. Anyway, so me and my other bestie are about to make seven years in September. So we were friends for about five, six years, I believe. I don't remember. It's all foggy up here because, you know, I leave, you know, once the bitches leave my life, they leave my memory. So, yeah. Anyway, so first I'm going to talk about, like, why I thought she was a good godmother. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I just thought she was a good friend, so I made her a godmother, not a really good choice. Like, I thought that, like, you know, since I'm young, you know, anything can happen. Like, I can die, I can, you know, accidents happen. So I thought, you know, maybe I, you know, if I could leave her with my child, if I was ever, you know, if, if anything ever happened to me or my fiance, you know, I think she would be a good fit. But over time, like, Bitch smoked marijuana, bitch smoked weed, bitch smoked probably Henny. I mean, not Henny, I mean ecstasy. Like, she drunk Henny. Like, Coquito. Like, bitch, the fuck? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I drink. But, y'all never see me drink. Like, never. Like, you probably, like, my Facebook friends. Like, if you guys are, so, some of you guys are Facebook friends, like, you might see me drink with my fiance. Like once in a while, but she drinks on every fucking occasion. Halloween, bitch drinks. What the fuck you drinking on Halloween? What the fuck you gotta get lit on Halloween for, bitch? But probably for her mans. Probably for her fucking mans. Anyways, um, fucking late, bitches. The fuck. So, so I thought she was a good fit. Now I'm gonna talk about before I get back into that story and why we stopped being friends and like what 
what was the argument about that I that I remember the argument being about also in the comments I want to have a conversation to see if you guys agree with me would you guys reconsider having a godmother like this or would you just leave it alone and let her be the godmother of your child but anyways so me and her were in the same school like I told you and the reason why she some so whatever the fuck so somehow got transferred or her mom took her out because this boy named um george melendez made a rumor about her that i know of that he has sex with her on the roof and to be honest with you back then i might have said oh no she's not innocent she didn't do it. but like honestly <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like y'all, y'all, like I'm not fucking lie to y'all. Like I thought she did it, like no, 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 no lie, like no fucking lie. I thought she did it, like, or, like just in my mind, I was like, what if she did, like, what, like what if I'm over here defending her, saying that she didn't do it and she did do it, like the fuck, like what if she really did? So like I was like a in a yes, I was dead ass defending her, but in my mind, I was like, what if, like what if? I mean, let's go down the line of niggas this bitch dated. She dated... She dated Nico. I'm sure she dated this dude. Um, uh, she dated this dude. I don't remember his name, but Ashley Guevara dated the same nigga. I mean, they just shit. I was like, fuck. Um, I think his name was Kamar. Maybe? Kamar? I don't know. Some shit in that category. Um... She did it, George Melendez. How? She did it, girl. She did it, Ashley Guerrero. She did it, Glory. Um, I don't know Glory's last name, honestly. Um, she did it, Noel. She did it, Eker. She did Eddie. She probably did it, Francisco. She, she did. I, I have a bro named Chris Centino, and he, she fucked around with him, sent him naked photos. And he still has the naked photos. Noel, if you want to see them, because I saw them and my man saw them. It's a picture of your, your girl posing like this in the shower, her titties out, her pussy out. Like, the fuck? How can you do that? You got a man. It's like, how disrespectful can you be if you really love your man? How can you send another nigga fucking naked photos? Like, the fuck? What? Noel wasn't giving you what you wanted, so you went to Chris. Like, the hell? Like, I didn't like Noelle for her, and I still don't, but it's not, it's not really my life. Like, if she wants a nigga that's gonna curse her out and hit her, you know, that's just some bitches, they like that shit. Why? I don't know. Would I ever have a nigga to hit me? No. You put your hands on me the first time, and we're not play fighting? You have to do it. Like, the hell? The fuck? Like, you ain't gonna put your hands on me, and then you gonna get away with it. Like, no. And I'm not, like, literally, like, you know, a lot of bitches think I'm fronting, no. Not fronting at all. Not fronting at all. I don't play that shit. I don't play that shit because once they hit you, they gonna do it again. And I'm not. I'm not gonna be one of those dope girls that are gonna die young because I got smacked in the skull or I hit my head on the floor. Like I know there's relationships that they suffer from that, but girl, get up and leave the first time you get hit because it's not gonna stop. You think he's gonna keep bringing you flowers and chocolates and toys? It's not gonna stop. Unless I go to counseling, it's not gonna stop. Sometimes it doesn't even help. So like for all my girl subscribers that are out there, right? And you're new to this channel and you're subscribing and you're in that type of relationship, just leave. Go to your mom's. Just leave. You're, you're gonna, gonna, gonna get hurt really bad to the point where you're in a casket and he's not gonna care. He's gonna go straight on to the next bitch and fuck the next bitch and hurt the next bitch and the next bitch is gonna be in a casket. Just leave. Anyways, now back to the reason why we saw being friends. So, she had a nosy ass fucking god sister. Her name is Angie. I did not like her. My fiance did not like her. She was very nosy, very annoying. She always had something to say about every single thing. And it was just really annoying. I mean, I know she was 10 years old, but like, come on, bitch. Like, how annoying can you be? Like, the fuck? So, I wanted to talk. See, Ki Kiana, right, because she had a date, she would like, she would come out of work, so she would work Monday through Friday at Lincoln, at a work, Lincoln, Lincoln Hospital, but it would be a work site, um, 
where she would sit on her ass and answer calls. <laughs> what a job. <laughs> You're not all that. Anyways, right, back to the story. Uh, I really don't like this hoe anymore, so I just got a lot to say. And I'm just gonna say it here, and if she wants to come to my face, I'll have my fiance record that too. Then put a part three. Yeah, if she ever does come to my face, I'll make sure my phone's fully charged and I'll give them my phone and be like, record this. This is gonna be for my viewers. But if she doesn't come to my face, then it's better for me. Sorry, you guys. I know you guys like the content, but yeah. I'd rather not. I mean, I always have my kid with me and like, I don't have, I wanna fight her. I'm not pussy. I'm dead ass not pussy. Like, I will fight her, but it's just, I don't have the energy in me, honestly. I don't have the energy in me. Like, I don't know, I just don't. But she wants to fight because I'm just speaking facts. Her sister, her, son, her sister is annoying. Her god sister is annoying. But anyways, all right. So I wanted because okay. So she worked from Monday through Friday, and she, from Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, if I remember, she got out at two fifty. Now, on Wednesdays, I think she got out at 2.30 or 2 o'clock. I don't remember. I think it was 2.30. It was 2 o'clock or 2.30 she got out. So, I asked her, hey, can you come on two Wednesdays of the month? There's four Wednesdays in a month. Four Wednesdays in a month. There's four weeks in one month, if I believe. Right? So... I asked her, can you come and see your godson? Spend some time with your godson. I mean, he's young and I want him to get to know you. Why don't you come over to my mom? My mom only lives literally four blocks away from Lincoln. Four blocks away from Funky Lincoln Hospital. Four blocks. And I told her, why don't you come over? I'll pick you up from your job. And it will, and you know, me and my fiance will take you over to my mom's house. You can spend time with the baby. It's a new baby, you know. And then on Saturdays, we'll like, we'll bring the baby to you. So, you know, you can see the baby and whatever. But like, you know, we don't always have car fares. So like, can, you know, you're already here. You're already in our neighborhood. Like, can you just come like two Wednesdays? And I was like, you know, sometimes you're going to have to, you know, tell your mans that, you can't chill with him because you have responsibilities as a godmother. And you know, her god sister, Angie, the eavesdropper, the nosy fucking chismosa, bitch, bochinjera, right? I just went to go tell her mother that I told her that she could no longer, no, hear my words, no longer hang out with her boy toy, her nigga. I never said that, okay, Angie? Next time, mind your fucking business because you're fucking nosy. Anyways, right? So, I told her that she could not hang out with Noelle two, day, two, day, two days in a month. She's going to die because she's not going to get dick? I mean, she fucked her man like literally 300 and something times. She literally told my, like the first, like the second time she met my mans, she literally told me and my mans how many times she fucked her mans. How many times her and her man fucks. How the fuck, why the fuck would I want to know that? The fuck? What do I look like? That's your sex life. That's private. Keep it over there. Keep your sex life over there. Like I don't open up and tell people, oh, me and my man fuck like every day. Like the fuck, I mean, no, I mean, we don't, but. You know, my sex life is private. Like, I don't tell people when I fuck, how I fuck, what what positions we do. Like, the fuck? She probably, I think she even told me that she does doggy style. Like, her man, like, her man, yeah. She told me that her man likes doggy style. Like, the fuck? Why do I need to know that? Like, how? What do I look like? Yeah, I'm your best friend, but, I mean, yeah, I was your best friend. But I don't need to know the position your man likes and... Like, were you trying to ask me for a threesome? Like, no lie. Like, no fucking lie. Like, no fucking lie. Like, fuck. I mean, that's what it fucking sounds like. Like, bitch, nobody want to fuck you and your man. Anyways. Right? So, because of her nosy, born quinquera, she's also... I know that's like two, three different channels. Like, two different things. I call it someone nosy. One's Mexican. <laughs> I don't really care. Um... Right. 
god sister her mom comes up me and be like what the fuck i know you don't like fucking noel but you can't tell my daughter who she got hangry for whatever and i couldn't even bring i couldn't even talk honestly i couldn't even like say a word she was like like talking so much that i couldn't even say anything so i just hung up and i told my mom and my mom's like what she cursed you out i was like yeah and i just told her that she couldn't know her dance twice a month twice a month like you're gonna die because you can't get dick twice a month so after that right me and my fiance because my fiance like regardless if she was my best friend right me and my fiance like talked it over and it was like we would see videos like of her smoking weed and shit like we don't want our god we don't want our son around that as we fear we don't want him around that so we told her that we don't think that she's the right fit to be a godmother. It had not, it had also had a lot of things to do with her god sister. Like I don't wanna be around her. She's nosy, she's annoying, bunching chat, she's mosa, like the fuck, like no. Cabrona. So like I don't wanna be around that. And like there was one day that like I would text her, like it was just the last weeks of her being the godson. Like and I text her and I was like, I don't think you're the right fit, blah blah blah. Like you you're not even there for like emergencies. Like I I would I would text her and she, like she would literally open my message and like see it and not reply. Like what if it was an emergency and I was texting her for like an emergency? What if something was wrong with the baby and I was texting her to tell her, yo, we're taking your godson to the hospital. Do you want to come? I mean, he's sick. He has a high fever or whatever. What if it what if, what if it was one of that? Like no, she want to be with her man. So basically we had an argument because she was like, oh, I don't have to answer my phone, I'm not yet. Yeah. So I was like, bitch, the fuck, like, it's not what happened if your god sister didn't get in. Like, you would have been the godmother. And she also was getting mad because I told her that I no longer want it. I'm gonna sit down, but you just start to get tired. That I no longer want her to be the god mother of my child should not be my choice like why you should get mad like because i don't want you to be the godmother of my child like it's my choice like the fuck my my, my son's doing perfectly fine without a godmother i haven't found anyone yet but i keep i'm keep looking but um and then right so i was supposed to go over to her to fight her Cause like she was so mad, right? And right, I was like, no, you come to me, ho. Like the fuck, you're the one with the nosy ass family, and you're the one that's so caught in your feelings. Cause I don't want you to be my son's godmother anymore, right? So and she was like, you know what? I see you when I see you. And I was told by my fiance, like around like two times, that she was in my neighborhood, like on the on my block, like on the block, cause like, okay, so where I'm at is I'm at 149 Grand Concourse, right? So like when you cross the street, like to the next block, there's like there's like how do I explain it like this weird ass building and like there's like a post office that's like i'm just gonna name one of the landmarks there's a post office when you cross the street and then you keep going straight right and then there's a taco bell so i'm she was like on the block of the taco bell right and my man was like yo kiana's in front of you she got fatter she's with like a blue dress and blue sandals like fuck that bitch like the fuck and I even said it. I was like, fuck that bitch. I don't know if she heard me or whatever. And he was like, no, she had headphones on or whatever. With her blonde ass, fucking ugly ass fucking hair. Bitch, you look fucking ugly with fucking blonde hair. You look like a fucking ghost. The fuck? You think you look cute? No, you don't, ho. Um. So, anyways. Um. Anyways, this is gonna be the ending of the story time. She was like, I see you when I see you. And she literally saw me and she didn't do shit. Bitch, you're pussy. You're not gonna do anything. This is all talk. It's just a story time. If you're getting your feelings, you know where I be at, you know where I chill, come. Because I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just trying to put up a story time on YouTube. I'm not pussy, I will fight you if you're so-called getting your feelings. But if you don't, 
Because I know there's some bitches out there that are going to tell you, oh, Rita put a video out about you. Part one and part two story time about, like, why you're not friends anymore and shit. Like, I don't give a damn. If you get in your feelings, you get in your feelings. I'm, tw I'm 20, you're 21. And, like, if you get in your feelings, you get in your feelings. If you want to come and talk to me or if you want to come and you want to fight me, bring your girls because, obviously, we all know you're going to bring your sissies and your cousins because you pussy and you can't handle anything like one-on-one -on -one. like literally like literally so i was gonna come over to her house and fight her right and her sister jamalex and booby that's that's her nickname that's her nickname i don't know why the fuck they call booby i mean I don't, I don't know whatever um and like kiana's name inside the house was what was her name what was her name Ko, ko, kochi, kochi. They call her Kochi. God knows what that means. That probably means hope. Honestly, I don't know. It probably does it. it. Probably really does it, but I don't know what it means and I don't really care. So those were like their nicknames in the house. And her sister Jamalex got in and was like, oh, I'll put you do like, bitch, I'm not talking to you. Like, I wasn't your friend. Like, yeah, I was cool with you because I was friends with Kiana, your sister, but I'm not your friend. Like, the fuck, get the, get the fuck out my face. Like, how, like, bitch, the fuck, get the fuck out my face. She's like, oh, I fight you too, and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's supposed to be one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-three. -on -three. Like, how, what the fuck? Like, yeah, so, like, if you want to come to my face, come alone. Because I have a problem with you, not your sisters. All right. Yes, I think one of your sisters are dying alone, dying alone, annoying as hell. But I don't have a problem. Like I don't like her, but I don't have a problem with her. I just don't like her, and I'm not gonna fight a ten-year-old because she's annoying. Because what? I mean, come on. Like every ten-year-old is fucking annoying, but they don't get in other people's business. Like, then you guys need to lock her down and teach her. Like, she's not supposed to get an adult business. Like, the fuck? Like, spank her. Do some shit. Like, the fuck? Like, or tell her. Like, adult business is adult business. Because she gets at everyone's fucking business. Like, anyways. Right? If you got a problem that, you know, you can hit me up. You know what's my social medias. You know... Where I be at, you know where I hang. So, yeah, I gotta go take care of my child because he wants something. But, anyways, I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, part two of why I am no longer consider her a friend. She's a hoe, she's a skank, she's a slut, she's a prostitute, she's a bitch. And if you want me to do a part three and show you the naked photos that my that my bro has of her, I'll do that. Just comment down in the below if you want to see a part three, and I'll do a part three. I just gotta ask him for the photos, and then I can link them like in the video. But yeah, um, if you need a part three, I, if you want a part three, I'll do a part three. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new. Like, drop a comment in the comment section. And let's get this video up to 100 likes, you guys. So, yeah. yeah. I also, I upload four days a week. You would know if you're subscribed by now. But if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you're new. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Turn on your post notifications when you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, you guys.